Well, we are changing things up in our homeschool again because you know what? My five kids are all just incredibly different and what worked for one kid is not working for another kid. And so we are making some changes again. Now, these are not huge drastic changes. I had thought that we were maybe, 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 that's not a word, maybe going to make some drastic changes, but we're not. We're just making some more subtle streamlined types of changes. So if you would like to see all about that, keep watching this video and make sure that you are subscribed to my channel if you would like to see more videos about homeschooling, motherhood, and everything in between. Hi everyone, I'm Michelle and this is A Common Life. I'm a homeschooling mom of five kids ages 5, 7, 9, 11, and 13. At least from now until April, they will all be every other year and then things get a little bit trickier. But now it's pretty easy to say all of their ages. And we are homeschooling all of them this year. My older two children are attending a school two days a week. It is basically a hybrid homeschool. They go two days, get the assignments, come home, and the other three days of the week they get those assignments done. I often refer to it on my channel as a cottage school, and a cottage school is just that, where you are doing some of the work at the, at the uh, school building, and you know you have teachers and things like that, and then the other part you are doing at home, in your house, with your parents. And, um, that's what we're doing right now. And we have done that in the past. We're doing it again now and we are really enjoying it. I have seen so much growth in my older two children. I, especially my oldest son, he has become so much more responsible. He is getting all of his work done. It has just made a huge improvement, I think, for his homeschool life. My daughter has always been pretty responsible, so for her, this is just um, kind of an extension of that. She's just doing really well, she's enjoying it. They are in a play, and my daughter got one of the roles in the play, and my son is the Act Two stage manager. So obviously, he must be pretty responsible at school if they think he's able to handle that job. So we were super proud of both of them for that, and so they're obviously gonna continue going to the school, and they are enjoying it, and everything is going well in that department. Now, the big change is that we were trying to figure out what we were gonna do for the upcoming school year. We were, were we going to continue at this school? I just wasn't sure how to make it work because in my mind, I would think about my nine-year-old, he's in third grade right now, and he has dyslexia, and so he does not read at a third grade level, and he doesn't write at a third grade level. He um, does math at above a third grade level and is can remember basically anything that you say to him. <laughs> he's got an amazing memory, but as far as reading and writing on his own, he is behind just because it's harder for him. And um, we are working with a curriculum that is helping him. Um, I've seen so much improvement in him. It's been pretty amazing. But we were trying to figure out, like, can we even send him to this school next year? We just didn't know what we were going to do. So I talked with the director about a week ago, and I was just asking her some questions about how they address, you know, having kids with dyslexia in their class, because the classes are much smaller. There are about 12 kids or so, and the teachers are not all um, people with teaching degrees. Most of them do have a degree in their subject area, but it doesn't mean they were, you know, taught how to teach. And so um, I just wasn't sure how they were going to be able to handle having a dyslexic child in their class, especially when he's not reading at the grade level that he would be going into. And she said that they have several kids with dyslexia and that it isn't an issue and that parents can accommodate. And as long as you kind of have like an open dialogue with the tutor, that um, the teacher of the class, that it shouldn't be a big deal. And then she offered that since several kids have dropped out at the Christmas break in his grade, um, in his class, in the third grade class, that if we would like to, we could enroll him in that class for the rest of the year and see how it goes. And it is only one day a week. David and Grace, my older two, they go two days a week, but um, Gregory, my middle son, he would just go that one day a week and um, we would just kind of see how it goes for him if it you know if he's able to keep up if he enjoys it and all of that and so my husband and i talked it over and we decided that yeah let's let's just do this thing let's just see if we can make this work for him and so starting this week gregory is going to school with my older two children so i will on wednesdays i will have only two kids at home with me which is weird <laughs> so weird i don't know what we're gonna do but we're gonna have to do some fun things because um you know it's when you have a big family the younger ones always kind of like fall through the gaps and things like that so i think that's going to be amazing to have all that time to kind of invest in the two of them and then next year if everything works out then on mondays and wednesdays all three of my older children will be going to the cottage school um and then i will just have my own younger two at home with me i'm not ready to send either two of them 
either two of them, either one of them to a um, another type of school or anything like that. Not at this time, at least. So anyway, that is a big change for us because that means like a lot of his curriculum is changing now too. A lot of the things that we are, um, you know, working on at home in our homeschool, we're going to change those up. And so he's still going to continue using teaching textbooks for math regardless because he loves it. And it's just kind of fun for them. So we're going to continue using teaching textbooks. and I'm going to continue using logic of English, which we are using for all of his like phonics and spelling and writing and all of that. It is an amazing curriculum. And I am going to be sharing a video about it in the coming month or so. So please make sure that you're subscribed to my channel if you would like to see my review of logic of English and how I use it with my dyslexic son because it is a really really good curriculum and we are loving it so I think it has really been the thing that has helped him start to read even better in the last few months and so I would highly recommend that you check it out even if your kids don't have dyslexia it's just a really great curriculum so that is my big homeschool change and I think it's a really really good change and I'm excited for Gregory he is beyond excited to go to the school I will actually insert a clip right now showing you his reaction to when we told him that he was gonna go to the cottage school are you ready for the news yeah what do you think it is school do you want to go to school with David and Grace yeah yeah well starting on Wednesday you get to go to school every single Wednesday till the end of the year with David and Grace are you excited? Yeah. Good. As I said in my previous video, every last Friday of the month, I'm going to be sharing some type of homeschool update or a vlog or a day in the life or something like that. So make sure you are subscribed to my channel if you would like to see those. And um, that's it for this homeschool update. And I think we're all really, really excited about this change, especially Gregory. And if you would like to kind of see how that journey goes for him, make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.